substances. Mm. Sometimes when it's my turn, I say, my name is Jack, and I'm constitutionally a stranger to moderation in any of its forms. That scene in Alien, when the little squid-like thing flies across the room and fastens on someone's mouth, and it'll never come off without killing the person. We're like that, except with us, the squid didn't fly across the room. We suck it. That's how it was with alcohol. And when I started drinking, I started sucking cigarettes. And from the bottom of my heart, like every drag that ever scummed the cilia of my lungs, with the resonance residue, the only way I could stop drinking was to hook myself on meetings that gave shape to the day. It was at those meetings I got on to coffee. And by the way, when the last smokers in the USA are bounty hunted down, They'll find them at AA meetings. Sometimes they'll have to reruns of cheers. I wonder how Sam Malone stays sober. You never see him go to meetings. Then it's obvious he's upgraded his addiction onto women. Well, in shape to the day, never read anybody. You go to Sam. When I started meeting illness in my first marriage, I got into jogging, like entering endorphin maintenance to stave off heroin withdrawal, like Mithridates taking controlled doses of known poisons. Watch your vaccination. We are like birds that in the winter of pain migrate to Guatemala on the wings of our substances. We are incapable of resistance. Our essence is long distance flight. We dare not risk the pain of owning anything. Even the paths of our migrations are seasonal. And winter is never more than nine months away. I start drinking only when it hurt too much to drink. I stopped smoking and interfered with jogging. I stopped jogging and the pain in my hips started waking me up at night for ice cream. <laughs> which had to go when my cholesterol reached escape velocity. I haven't had my cholesterol tested since. But it's been fine. <laughs> Coffee and Canada mints and the aspirin I take from my hips are eating at the lining in my stomach as I speak. All my life I've borrowed from Peter against my body to pay Paul for my emotions. And now Peter's tracked me down and nailed foreclosure to my door for the 14th and final mortgage on my organs. And all I can say is, I gave him a good run for his money. <laughs> Soon, the only thing left will be That's how it was supposed to be. Arcade of substances it seemed to ease the pain. But all your playing is whack-a-mole and bash it here and pops up there until suddenly you stumble on the substance of your destiny and understand at last that all the pain you ever gave the slipping was pain of not doing it.